Hello, 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 hello! So, today I'm going to be painting up a little fire slug friend. There you go, camera kind of focusing on him. Who I sculpted a couple streams back. I was going to do this stream, like, last week, except I didn't have a palette or paintbrushes at that time, so I had to walk over to the, like, store and get some. So, now that I've done that, I can do this. Also, I'm going home for the weekend, because right now I'm living on campus, and I just absentmindedly just grabbed my microphone, and I'm so sorry if that made a noise. <laughs> Whoopsie doops. Well, <laughs> off to a wonderful start here, but I have to leave at like 5.30 and I should eat before that, so I can stream for a little bit. <laughs> at least probably like an hour or two. But I realized I hadn't streamed all week and I don't want to be doing that, so... Not streaming, that is. I do want to be streaming. Talking is hard. This is a little slug made of, like, magma. I don't know. I had a hunk of clay and this is what it became. I didn't actually plan on making this guy, but now he's here, so... I think he's a nice little fellow. I need to get the colors that I need. Which is mostly standard kind of fire colors. And then for some of the- he has like little scales on his belly. You can see him there. Which are like bits of dried stone floating in the magma. Which is fun. So that's the thing that I'm going to do, but let's get started. Yay. Ah, already dropping things. Let's... I also don't have a container of water, so I'm going to go do that. Well, this is going great so far. <laughs> It's been a while since I've streamed painting, so I kind of forgot all the stuff you have to do. Additional perk of living in a dorm room. There is a sink right over there that I can go to. Although, I can't drink the water from it, so it's just like for other stuff. I have to go down the hall to get drinkable water, which kind of sucks because I don't have a water filter. Which I'm fine with, but... Yeah. Kinda... Give him sort of a base coat. It usually takes quite a bit of paint to paint over air-dry clay. Because air-dry clay is absorbent. Because... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like legitimately mostly made out of paper. Kind of basing this guy with some red. Yeah. I didn't actually put much thought into this guy's character design. Because I didn't plan him, he just kind of happened. He just kind of sat down with some clay. I was like, I'm going to sculpt something today on stream, and this is what I got. And I'm not upset with it because this is adorable. He's just a sweet little guy. Some of my friends have uh, gotten into live streaming gaming stuff, and like, I do kind of want to collab with them. Except if I did, it would be like me coming to their like server. Because my computer can run games and it can run streams, I just don't think it can run both at the same time. So, I can't actually live stream myself gaming right now because I'm working off of a laptop. But, if I get, like, 
I don't have Minecraft downloaded on my computer right now, so I'd have to get that. But if I were to, then I could totally collab with some of them, and that would be wonderful. I would love to do that. Assuming, of course, they're okay with it, but honestly, probably will be. I've also started hosting some content on my channel from a, some of my friends' channels. You know, with the color on, you can almost kind of make out the details a little bit better than just on the white. Also, I need to get, like, you can get, like, silicon mats to cover your workspace so that you don't, like, get paint on your table. And technically this desk doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the college. And I know how to get paint off of stuff like this, I just don't want to have to do that. So I have paper down right now. Which is, you know, it's decently thick paper. It's like ripped out a page or two from an extra like drawing pad. But yeah. Still gonna wanna get a, a better quality cover for my desk at some point. Just honestly one that's prettier. <laughs> and the silicon it would be more protective. You have to be very careful when painting on air dry clay because it will, like, melt. Because the water will start to kind of reactivate it. Which, you put a layer of sealant over top once the paint's all on, and then that pretty much makes it just permanent. If you just coat it in a nice thick layer of sealant. But, right before you paint it, it's a little bit fragile because it's just, like, paper. <laughs> Legitimately, my understanding of what this stuff is, and I may be wrong about this particular brand, but I know that this is a kind of clay that is considered an air-dry clay, is that it's literally just really finely crushed paper mixed in with water. Which holds on to itself because paper sticks to itself and works really well for that, but it will turn into paper paste <laughs> if you're not careful with it. There we go. Got them all kind of base coated. This is where my background in a uh, miniature painting is. I used to do when I was a kid, because I've been doing D&D for years, literally. Like, I started that, like, before I was, like, before I was, like, technically a teenager. <laughs> I started doing D&D with my dad, and a big part of that was painting up all of the minis. So, that's kind of where I got the skill set I'm using here, of painting figures like this. Kind of start adding some orange into the flames. Just going upward following the trend of the flames. But yeah, so I think painting 3D models is always a lot of fun. Because there's just like the techniques are kind of the same between this and painting on like paper. But there's still, like, very distinct differences in that you just have more to work with and you have to work with kind of the, the edges and all of that of what your, your model is. Model, that's the word. <sighs> B. Yeah. Just got back from an emergency mission and that a friend of mine forgot their lunch. So <laughs> I walked over to like one of the like restaurant places on campus and bought some soup to bring it to them. 
is they're doing a like work study job. So like doing work and then I'm pretty sure it's a work study situation, but at the very least they're working on campus and like forgot to bring their lunch to work. <laughs> or at least like did not bring nearly enough lunch. So went on a secret mission to I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs> And I had lunch with one of my friends today, and I was almost late to class because I was just having so much fun talking to them. So I was like, I'm going to walk with you to your class even though I have to go somewhere. <laughs> Which is not what you should do in college, kids. Please attend your classes. The good news is, I wasn't actually all that late, so I didn't miss any of the content. And most of it was just going over the textbooks, so stuff I already been over when I took my notes on the textbook. Also, side note, this is kind of devolving into Corcus gives you college advice, but like, even if your lecture and your textbook cover the same stuff, do both of them. Because sometimes your teacher knows things the textbook doesn't mention. And sometimes the teacher forgets to mention something that the textbook mentions. And you really want to know as much as possible, not just for like assessments, but also just, you know, knowing stuff is good. <laughs> that gives you life skills. And you would be surprised how applicable a lot of stuff is. And not just to what you're learning about. Because a lot of the skills overlap in all of that. Like, when I first got like involved in robotics and all of that, my background was almost entirely biology. And I was still able to use that because I was kind of blending this out here. The biology stuff mapped almost perfectly onto the robotics stuff because the principles are the same. And I discovered that, like, I don't know how to put it other than the process of evolution is almost like the natural state of the engineering and design process because it's all about iteration in both of them it's iteration and then testing and then reiteration and in a way that follows both engineering design and also sort of the scientific method is that here's an idea test the idea idea didn't work iterate on it again, keep doing that. Sort of everything kind of ties together once you kind of map it out in your head. Also, I'm having a lot of fun in stats class. <laughs> I, I really like statistics. I also was able to apply some of my like, I wasn't a programmer in robotics, I was a designer and a builder, but I did learn a little bit about programming through just general exposure, and I was able to apply some of that to one of the softwares we're using, which is literally a computer in the most simple and literal definition of the term, because it is a software that runs on your computer and runs calculations for you. And it's really good for statistical analysis. That's, yeah. And we were going over it in class, and I was kind of able to figure out how to do most of the stuff before the teacher got to it, just through like, yeah, that makes sense from a programming standpoint that this would be how you do that. <laughs> kind of feeds together. 
human knowledge is not as disciplinary as people think, which is to say that pretty much all knowledge can be applied across disciplines. You just have to apply it right. And not take it at face value, I guess. Because the knowledge can be applied across disciplines, but you have to modify it a little bit for each one to make it kind of fit. And it all, all kind of connects, which is fascinating. I love stats, and I love all of that. <laughs> I am a nerd, if you hadn't caught that based on my entire self. <laughs> Just kind of filling stuff in, blending things out. I'm just using water to blend it because it's acrylic and I'm putting it on top of clay. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. Focus, Mr. Camera. Thank you, Mr. Camera. Yeah, so I'm kind of doing that fire texture on the back over top of where I did the fire texture out of clay. Also, I'm going to do something weird with the camera here because I want to show you something. I got this light. New lamp. Fantastic for lighting. I should not have done that with the camera because now I have to readjust everything. There we go, we're back. <laughs> and I just bumped my microphone again. <laughs> Didn't get so much content for the blooper reel out of this video. <sighs> but that's okay. Gotta be able to laugh at yourself. You're always gonna be making mistakes. No matter how good you get at anything, you just will be making new mistakes that you won't make again. And slowly the mistakes you're making will become, like, more insignificant and... I guess less frequent and all of that. I don't know, I had a point with this and it escaped me halfway through the sentence. And I hate it when that happens. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. So try not to smudge anything with my fingers as I'm holding him. It. I should let that dry a little bit. Also, I have paint hands now. There we go. Get that in frame. <laughs> Hydrate. Hydration. Stretch out. There are people talking outside, I don't know if you can hear that. But... Turned off the mic as I cracked my knuckles because it does really help with like flexibility and all of that, but it's not pleasant to listen to. Sounds like they might be doing another tour. They do campus tours and I live directly next to the dorm room that they show people on those. So like, it's sometimes inconvenient to leave my room. <laughs> Because there's just a crowd of incoming, like, students and parents. I don't get it. But it's a little bit inconvenient to me. <sighs> On the bright side, that means that I only have one neighbor, though. So, small victories, I guess. Yep. Once I'm done painting this guy, I have... Liquitex high gloss varnish, which, yep, they're doing a tour. <laughs> but that varnish is really good for like gloss and all of that, but I might want to do muting because people are talking loudly, but you get it. But. My train of thought just abandoned me. Oh, there it is. You might want to do a, um, 
layer of a slightly more heavy duty stuff before you do that on just to hold everything in really well because this has a good finish but it's not the best for like functioning as a top coat I think it's the best way to put that Leave them over. God, he's adorable. <laughs> Maybe a little bit biased because I built him, but... I mean, look at that little face. <laughs> he's so cute. Sir, why are you escaping? Oh, I did not shake this paint, and it shows. That is... Unfortunate. I also don't have any paper towels. <laughs> Which I I realize now may become an issue. But eh. I guess I'll have to go buy those at some point. I'm pretty sure they have them at like convenience store. What's great is that there's a convenience store within walking distance, but also within walking distance without having to go outside because it gets so cold around here during the winter that most of campus is connected through like either tunnels or skywalks or all of that. Which is wonderful because once you know your way around, you can get anywhere. But once you don't know your way around, or if you don't know your way around, I once got lost between the um, library entrance and the library interior accidentally took a tunnel entrance that was connected to the library interior and ended up in like the like student hub area where all the restaurants are it's like how did i get here i was trying to go to the library but no you have to take the other direction from the entrance to the library that is clearly labeled library entrance <laughs> These things happen. I did not clean that brush after I finished using it. I should do that. There we go. Yay. So, making progress on that writing project I'm doing. For no, not for school, just for fun. But I'm looking forward to that. And I'm still planning on doing like the read aloud recording on my YouTube because that seems like fun. Trying to start painting black over these little rock pieces on his tummy. And I'll put gray over top of that to blend it out. Kind of give it kind of a dimensional shape. There we go. This black is very pigmented. Also, I did definitely go with a fire pattern for his back because I had also done another fire pattern on another it's like recent clay project, so I knew I knew how to do that, and I just decided to do that on that stream because I didn't want to like <laughs> embarrass myself, I guess, because it was my f like first like full sculpting stream. So it's just I'm gonna do something I know how to do that I know that I can do it well. And it did work. <laughs> These little rock pieces took a surprising amount of like shaping. Can just like put little dots on. So I had to shape them down into those little, like, semi-accurate floaty magma shapes. 
more stylized than accurate, I guess, but sort of did the uh, like geometric shapes to them. But like irregular geometric shapes to be fancy. <laughs> All right. Carrying on. What brush should I use for this part? Uh, probably this one. Using little brush. Kind of get started on putting some of that gray in. I almost want to put some white in, but this is a pretty pale gray, so I don't think I'm going to need it to bring out the highlights. And there isn't quite enough texture that I can dry brush this on, so I'm going to blend this on instead. So to start, I'm just putting kind of drops of pigment. The thing is that since I I know how to do oil painting, I'm not going to do any on stream for a while, because you're, I, I don't have space because I'm in a dorm and I don't have supplies because I'm in a dorm. But I do have stuff at home to do that, so I might do that at some point. And someone is calling me, so I am going to mute. All right, that was my mom further arranging stuff, so I might have to get off stream early, maybe? But that's fine, I wasn't planning on making this more than like an hour. It's a pretty simple figure to paint. Sorry about that, everyone. I don't know, I also want to see if my... I like doing the art stuff on stream, but it does take a lot of, like, muscle stuff in, like, my hands and my wrists. So I can't do, like... Painting is okay after having done digital art for a while, because it's just, like, that's not as intensive in those muscle groups. But I can't do, like, two digital art streams in a row, or at least I really, really shouldn't, because that might hurt me. So, well, I'm, I'm going to keep doing this for sure. The digital art streams, the sculpting, the painting, because I did bring all of that stuff that so I need to do that. But if my laptop proves capable of maybe not live streaming, but recording, don't mind me brushing my brush off on my hand, but recording while I'm like playing games, I might start doing those as like bonus content on my other channel. Also, I haven't tried live streaming a game since I got the new laptop, so maybe I can? I don't know. I'll definitely send out a disclaimer beforehand that this is a test stream and that I, if it works, then I'm going to stream. And if it doesn't work, then I'm sorry for letting you down. <laughs> In that I, I said I was going to stream, but it's not going to go. So... That is a thing I should test out. Add that to my to-do list of things to improve on my channel. But I could definitely, probably, maybe, at least record. Like, screen record audio. And audio, rather. While I'm, like, playing games, and then I can edit that up to YouTube. That seems like fun. Kind of simplistic here with the the paint job. 
think that suits kind of the character. Does this character have a name? No. He's just a little friend. I've just been calling him Fire Slug. Fire Slug, my beloved. That single sentence is enough to tell you that I'm on Tumblr. <laughs> my beloved. Yeah. Just kind of taking some pigment off now. I'm putting some water on to dissolve the pigment and then lifting it off with my brush. pretty good at on canvas blending because oil paints that's all you do with them <laughs> it's you put down pigment and then you blend it and then you let it dry once you're confident that the layer looks good and then you can build on top Yeah. I just very much dropped my paintbrush. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> nah, we're good. Yep. And there's this little tummy. And it blends into the fire up on his back a little bit. And then I almost want to do some stuff on his little, little hands. Because he does have little hands, they're all curled up in front of him. And those little arms. Kind of make it clear that those are little arms. And this guy will definitely be getting a photo shoot for stuff to go on my Instagram. <laughs> Which I should be posting to more often. Uh, ideally after every art stream. Because then I have, like, new art to get put up. Oh. Baby. Baby. <laughs> He's just a little baby. Just a little man. Alright, I always make my, my creations cute because I like that. I'm never like cute in the conventional way. More like cute in like that's really weird kind of way. <laughs> you can probably tell by the fact that I consider like spiders and lizards to be adorable. Once again, I complain about having paint on my hands all the time, and then I just, just wipe paint on my hands. Because <laughs> I, I need less paint on my brush. What am I supposed to do? Presumably, what I'm supposed to do is not that, but I don't... I do that anyway. Because I don't care. 
There we go. There's a little man. Alright, I should do his like eyes and mouth. I'm going to need still the same brush because it's also like a fine liner brush, which is why I've been using it for all this, because this is a very small, small friend. And who is small? Giving him little eye. And little mouth. And his other eye kind of following the sculpted lines that I put in for where these are. Actually, I think about it, I'm pretty sure what I was meaning to do here when I made this guy. I don't think I mentioned it, but like in the in the video where I made him, but I was planning on doing he has one little little regular eye and then the other one's like a little rock. I think that fits. That fits him. Just, just, I did not clean that enough, so I just wiped a bunch of like black paint on my hand. Nope, it's washable. That's fine. Oh, he looks so kind. Look at the eye. He is so sweet. <laughs> I just love my creations. Kinda wash some lighter colors into the into kind of the magma part of his body, which is to say everything except for the flames on his back. Things washes them, but you always think you've ruined it. They never look good when you first put them on. And then they dry down, and then they look fantastic. That's the thing with doing washes and inks on your art. It's just, what have I done? And then, oh, never mind, it was good. <laughs> probably say something about how that relates to like life. Uh oh. I've ruined everything. No you haven't. How do you know you've ruined everything? friend. <laughs> Alright, 
I might need to do some touch-ups once he's dry, but I think that's it for today's stream. Because I should finish packing and do all that. Do one little touch-up there. And stuff kind of rubbed a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna let him dry. And this stream was a little bit shorter because it's just a little bit of a shorter project. I will update you guys once he is all varnished and done, but... Uh, boop, not that stream, or not that screen, rather. Whoops. There we go. Thank you to everybody who stopped by the stream today and who is watching on the recording. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day or night, and I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.